probably hold this territory here for a second. Yeah, what's Ooh, up? There's a router. How are you supposed to get out of this hell? With great difficulty. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to talk about some bad building habits. Now with this year's construction overhaul, I thought we could take a look at some habits that may be hurting you more than helping. For me personally, it's not getting the pain spire in range of the vehicle and air pad terminals correctly. You know, I'll put it up and then now I'm going to have to wait till it's all done, deconstruct it and try to place it again. So there are some um, things, especially if I'm, you know, trying to build really fast, you know, of course there's Things that are going to be wrong, walls not connected properly, things of that sort. So let's look at some other bad habits we may fall into while building. Spawn tube not rotated to point at exit. Or the vehicle spawn pads. Air pad not rotated outwards, so you got to do a 180. Placing a turret too close to an AI module for no good reason, so they have to use a second module. Using too many modules in general, when they could have just been more thoughtful with their placement to ensure coverage. Now this first one, the air pad not being rotated uh, properly, I have fallen into that. You know, I'll put an air pad up real quick. Yeah, I got, I got the spawn tube going. And as soon as you spawn into an ESF or, you know, a Valk, uh, you fly right into a tree or a cliffside. So I have done that one quite a bit. Uh, and that's something that I need to watch out for when I'm putting up an air pad. Now the spawn tube not being rotated towards the exit, that is another big one here. Um, if you look, there is a little green dot that hangs outside of the spawn tube when you go to place the actual thing down. So that is going to be the back of the spawn tube. So you want to face that going towards the vehicle pad, the air pad, anything that you want blueberries to go out and do, you put that to where they're going to be facing right towards the vehicle pad. Angie Main says, say a spawn tube is in a bunker, having the exit blocked or impossible to get out. That is also another thing that I've ran into is everyone will stack as much modules as they can in the pillbox, which is a good thing to do and a bad thing to do. Um, it ensures that all your modules are covered, yes, but now you have all your eggs in one basket, which is fantastic for a light assault to bring in with C4 or accordion bomb to sit there and completely destroy your base, uh, you know, with one single blow. Not having a clear path to a terminal as if it was an afterthought. And that's another thing as, you know, making sure that when you put your spawn tube down, you are directing friendlies where you want them to go. Some bad habits of mine. Not using repair AI shield modules radius effectively. Not connecting walls, not having a flail with air pad to defend against glaive flails, building an OS uplink on bases built for vehicle pads or routers, building a vehicle pad with low cordium amount in the silo. Noob allies will assume it's locked even after you reach 20k, and then they start to, you know, uh, team kill you, or they'll send you tells of, can you unlock this for me please, I don't understand why this is locked. Every base that I go to, they keep it locked. You suck. <laughs> Like, you'll get messages if people can't spawn the stuff there, but they just don't understand. But that's not their fault, and it's not your fault as the builder either. That's just the game, you know, just doesn't really tell you that kind of thing if you've never gotten into construction or messed with it. Forgetting to overload the structure shield module, leaving important modules exposed to small arms, and forgetting to leave mines around the base. Zick said, abandoned silos clogging up the map. Me, trying to set up a roadblock with minimal manpower. Me again, starting a base in a consistent zone only to be surprised when a single lightning tank or liberator flattens it. Massive bases that force vehicles to go through a maze. And that's happened too, you know, when we have like our vehicle nights and stuff and we're trying to go through a certain part of territory and it's a base that has completely built onto the road. You know, nothing, nothing wrong with that. A forward operating base, fantastic. But when you have walls in the road to where, you know, vehicles can't even get through this base. So just keep that in mind if you are building a, a, a forward base or base in the road to help with the traffic of oncoming enemies. You know, make sure there's room for your friendlies to go through easily. Tightly clustered bases that give infills too much power. That's another thing with, you know, trying to make it a small, tight, you know, as many, uh, you know, all those little crevices and hidey holes that infills can hide in. The air pad is cool looking, but honestly, why couldn't we just have grounded air vehicles? They would be better protected by the walls, accessible from the ground, hell, if the ramp could be used as an aircraft launcher, that would be even cooler. You know what, 
construction really needs roads bridges things to aid vehicles getting around same mindset as the ramp and the vehicle gate now i know they um have discussed uh, talking not roads but um bridges bringing in little um things of that sort in the new construction overhaul so i'm looking forward to that if lapidus would post some more stuff so what are some bad habits that you guys have found yourself slipping into or seen when you spawned at a friendly base so that's going to be it for me for this one guys like and subscribe as always and i hope you have a great day great night wherever you are and i'll see you in the next one